and zest.tas if you were not acting or modeling or studying estate or studying estate surveying what would you do hmm. if i wasn't acting modeling or into real estate what would i do i think i'll be a journalist yeah i'll be probably casting news reading the news or doing and um, covering the news live on the field or actually i wouldn't mind being behind the camera going into photography or videography something i've had an interest in so yeah probably any of those three then i'm actually asked i'm actually underscore oc asked pet peeves okay pet peeves I don't like mean people, I don't like snobby people if you are mean to me or snobby. Generally, to another person itself, it turns me off. Then there's this particular thing I hate. I hate it when people, okay, <laughs> this may sound petty, but I hate it when if I send you a message on Instagram or something, you open it and you don't reply, and it's just that same thing. God, especially if I'm asking something, it pisses me off. You can as well just unread the message if you're not ready to answer then, or just like the message but then i told a friend this and it came to the defense of people that do it and it was like um probably maybe they opened it by mistake or they were not right to answer it okay if you open it by mistake fine that's fine it happens but if you, if you are not right to answer it you cannot read it there's a feature where you cannot read on ig so please be guided <laughs> thank you and i'm actually also, also asked if you could have lunch with a celeb dead or alive who would it be <laughs> Who will it be? Yes, it will be Jemima or Sunde. Speaking of which, Jemima has promised me a launch, a date. Yes, a launch date. And since, it has been like over a year now. In fact, I even have video proof. She sent me a video through San Joseph and she said she was going to take me out for lunch and we we're going to have drinks. And up to now, she hasn't. I think I should even play the video yourself. Okay, so Tega, this is Hi, your Tega. crush. Hi Tega, oh my face looks white. <laughs> Hi Tega, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was coming in today. We would have invited you over, but I promise we're going to have drinks with the big boy Savo. Yeah, Tega, Tega, you see. We're going see. to have drinks with Savo. Tega, so you owe me. <laughs> yes, we're, we're all going out. I even dragged that recently on Instagram on one of our posts that she my mom, you're owing me lunch and she was like, ah, oh, my love, don't worry, after Corona. So now she's had another the umbrella of Corona. But once this Corona goes, if you people don't see on my story that I went for lunch with Jemima on Sunday, you people should drag her personally. <laughs> Next question. Still I'm right, she says, were you scared or excited about starting this channel? Well, a little bit of both, but more of excitement. I was excited because it was a new experience. It's a platform for me to be able to share my, I don't you know, share my story. My voice can be shared. But then I was scared because I was like, what if I don't do so well? What if I don't get views? What if I don't get subscribers? What if it doesn't work out? But then I feel when you're starting this kind of thing, that shouldn't be your worry. You should just do it for the fun of it and just work like that, work with it, and over time you go if you are consistent. So yeah, that's been my consolation. And yes, even though I was scared about reaching my 500 subscriber mark, I was able to get there with the help of God and y'all that are watching this video. So I think it's just a one step at a time process. Just keep, I just keep pushing. Hopefully things work out. So hidden talents, lol, blow my mind. Hidden talent. Honestly, I don't think I have any other talent apart from the ones you already know. Acting, modeling. Nah, nothing. I don't have any hidden talents. So, Amate Bishiliri asks, how did you get into modeling? And how has the journey been so far? So I think, yeah, I already spoke about that earlier. How Amade told me he wanted to shoot me. And then from the other photographers kept reaching out to me. But then how has the journey been so far? It hasn't been rosy like that. It hasn't been 100% easy, but then we keep pushing. It gets better day by day. So, um, favorite childhood memory. Rina F. Rina of F. asks favorite childhood memory. Favorite childhood memory. Hmm. Yes, I think when I celebrated my 10th birthday, that was the first time I was celebrating my birthday properly. So we had like a party party at my house i had a big one zero cake there were balloons my friends came 
Yeah, it was pretty fun. Shout out to my mom and my dad for that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was my best childhood memory. Then she also asked, the moment you were most proud of yourself. Most proud. Most proud. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But probably winning campus seats or winning model of the year for the definition fashion week. Or even hitting hitting my um, 500 subscriber benchmark in under one month without any official content. So yeah. So Jane Kanayo asks your most annoying moment. <laughs> and most annoying moment. Most annoying moment. I don't know if I have like a particular one that I can see is my most annoying moment. But I really really hate it when I want someone's attention and I don't get it. Yes, that annoys me. It has happened a couple of times, a couple of people. Yes, so all of them combined together is my most annoying moment. And the favorite thing about yourself, the favorite thing you love about yourself. Um, I love that I'm down to earth, I'm friendly. I I roll with everybody. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I don't judge. Yeah, I'm very open and friendly. Of course, except until after you step on my toes. But then, yeah. I can imagine Jonathan asks, how long have you and Della been together? Uh, I think about three years, officially. Yeah, Jane asks, ever been bullied? Ever been bullied? Of course, I'm sure all of us have been bullied at one point in time, but I just can't really remember an instance that I was bullied. Okay, yes, I remember one time in secondary school when I was in probably my junior school. I had, we had room heads. I think the room head was definitely in a higher level. And there was one time, I don't know, something happened. We were all joking in the room and we were all laughing. Probably someone cracked a joke or said something and we were all laughing. And funny enough, this guy was actually laughing. This is my room head, probably in the higher level. And all of a sudden, from nowhere, he just dazed me. Like, he gave me one dirty slap. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Like, you know the type of sounds that when he slap you, to be ringing in your ears. I, I lie you not. That's how it was. It was actually, and I was so confused. But I don't know how that ended up. But I remember I shot didn't go and post. I wasn't a snitch, so it just passed. But I think I hated that scene to be graduated. I hated him. Got <laughs> So then, um, Jane also asked, summarize your 2020 in a sentence. Hmm. In a sentence. In a sentence. Okay. Corona is a bitch. That's all. That's all. That's all. I don't think there's any other thing to say. Oh, okay, maybe God is faithful. <laughs> okay, um, how do you handle other ladies that like you? Okay, so, maybe to first of all, most people know that I'm in a relationship, so they try as much as possible not to shoot their shots like that because they know their law, you know, I'm in a relationship. And for those who don't know, I kind of tell them off softly, not in a harsh way. And I can initially play and act along, but then I just let you know when it's getting too serious that okay, well, I'm in a committed relationship. Yeah. Even though there are some stubborn ones that after that they still like to push, but then just have to stand my ground. Then what do you think keeps your relationship healthy? I feel communication and trust. If there's communication, if there's trust, your relationship is good to go. Okay, um so Simi Sonya ask what inspired you to start a channel so basically just the the need to i don't know i just wanted my voice to be heard i wanted the platform to be able to express myself that's why i started my channel uh she also asked what did you study in school essay management yeah <laughs> then lady the xx says tega i want money my dear i want money too <laughs> i want money too then Oyuko K asks, would you ever consider making acts in a modeling a full career? Um, honestly, I don't know. I, I doubt. Probably if I'm established and I'm financially settled, why not? But if not, nah. Even at that point, I'll still have probably like a real estate business by the side because um, acting and modeling in Nigeria, from what I've heard, from what I've experienced, don't really pay that much. And yeah i don't want to be stranded financially so no but if anyway if probably i'm international hollywood kind of stuff you know yeah why not then 
Tiffany asks, if any, what's the weirdest thing about you? Weirdest thing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> then Nelso underscore Kens asks, do you care about nature? That is a very, very funny question because I actually do. I'm a fan of nature, plants, and everything related to that. Yeah. Then allow me to ask, who's your best? Who's your best actor? Who's your best actor? Hmm. Generally, I'll probably John Boyega. Yeah. Then we now have greatest motivation. I think I've answered that. What motivates you? And box saving the courses will be our brand ambassador. Yes, definitely box saving. I love you guys. I love working with you guys. You guys should check them out. Box saving their branding and packaging and um, online platform. They need boxes. They help in branding and packaging. So if you have, if you ever have a, an event or something that you want to do, check them out. They're very good and credible. And the other asks, what's the first thing you notice in a lady? Um. First of all, the first thing that attracts me to a female is beauty. If you are beautiful as one, <laughs> I guess I'm attracted to you. Then if your attitude is also beautiful, you know when they say beautiful inside and outside, if you also have a very good attitude, then that's, that's a plus. I'm automatically attracted to you. Yeah. And are you single? No. What do you like to do in your spare time? Hmm. My spare time, I like planning, I like thinking of the next creative move, the next step of action, yeah, or just watching TV. Then Andy Walker asks, what's your biggest motivation in this new fear you're about to take on? Yeah, I think I've answered motivation before. And Yenny underscore AJ asks, what inspired your modeling career? I've answered that. And A underscore Tilda asks, what's your favorite color? Black, black, I'm even wearing black now. Black is my favorite color. And she also asks, What do you value most in relationship? In, in relationships, um, trust and um, communication. Yes, trust and communication. Yeah, th- I think I value that a lot. And attention, honestly, if I'm in, if I'm in a relationship with you, probably as my girlfriend or my best friend or something i need your attention i want you to have like attention for me i can't get the same attention so jp bawala has greatest challenge being a model um i think my greatest challenge was confidence when i started modeling i was a bit shy i wasn't really i don't know i wasn't that bold and confident but as time went on i, I guess I know what they say, practice means perfect. So as time went on, I was able to build my confidence and now we're at a better place. Thank God. <laughs> then Deborah underscore Nikki asks, why so fine? Yeah, it's called the beginning of the Lord. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for watching to this point. We've come to the end of this QA session. Big shout out to everyone who asked the question. Thank you so much. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Yeah, so peace out.